go. Boy Reviews! All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here, and I'm up late checking out a trailer for a film I've already reacted to the teaser for, and we're talking about Prith Viraj from Yashraj Films. And this is a historical epic war action drama film. Historical epic war, not just historical war. Epic war, action, drama, three in one. When I hear epic war, that makes me think of kind of over-the-top action sequences, but fantastical action sequences I'm hoping for. I'm hoping for kind of like a Bahubali um, chapter two, if you will, the second one. And this obviously stars the legendary Akshay Kumar, but it also stars the other legend, Sanjay Dutt, who we just saw in KGF Chapter 2. Excited to see him in something else. He's been in a lot of things, obviously, but just recently, San, uh, KGF Chapter 2. This is written and directed by Chandra Pakesh Duvetti. And this comes out June 3rd, 2022. If you want to see my reaction to the teaser, go ahead and check it out on Born Reviews. It was about a few months ago, actually. It's crazy how fast that time has passed. I would have thought it was like a month or two. Looked it up. It seemed like it was five months ago, possibly. That is just absolutely insane. So, excited to check this out. If you're excited for my reaction, please, oh, please, thank you for watching. But hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet, especially if you watched a bunch of my videos and you've enjoyed them mostly. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well. And, you know, if you want to, throw a super thanks out there. I haven't gotten one of those yet. That'd be cool to get the first one um going off and running but with that being said let's go ahead and check out Prithviraj almost three minutes baby here we go Uttaradhikari rishte se nahi yogyata se chuna jata hai beautiful shot shore ke liye veerta ke liye aur nyay ke liye oh that's easy to do पृथ्वीराज चौहान का दिल्ली के सिंहासन पर राज्य अभिषेक किया जाता एक राजकुमारी ने एक राजकुमार की वीरता की कहानियां सुन सुनकर सपने बुन लिए थे कि एक दिन घोड़े पर वो राजकुमार आएगा और उसे ले जाएगा मेरे नाम का इश्क का या दाग मैंने दिल पर नहीं माथे पर लगा लिया है अब विधाता भी इसे नहीं मिटा पाएगा कोई पृथ्वी को चुनौती दे मेरे हाथों बनेगा ये प्रण पृथ्वी चंद भट्ट लोग मुझे चंद्रवरदाई भी कहते हैं वाल्मीकि हैं तो श्री राम है चंद है तो पृथ्वीराज चौहान है खान कहा है कभी का Muhammad Quli Delhi What players in this Power 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 Sultan se kehna ki agar ve yudh chahte hain to main taiyar hu Na ve sapne salamat rahenge na ve aankhe Shakti baat hai shakti baat hai Jo Hindustan ki aur uthegi जो रिश्ता गंगा और पवित्रता का है जो रिश्ता पानी और प्यास का है जो रिश्ता सांस और जीवन का है विजयी चाहते हैं सम्राट तो दिल्ली सुल्तान के हवाले करें अपनी जिंदगी के बदले में मैं सुल्तान को अपने वतन की मुट्ठी भर मिट्टी भी ना दू धर्म के लिए जिया हूं धर्म के लिए मरूंगा ग्लैडिएटर स्टाइल Oh, they gave too much right there. Yeah, they gave too much right there, I fear, with that last sequence, because you see it's almost like Gladiator at the end. Because he, and they said he was crowned the King of Delhi, right? 
And I'm assuming that was him, but he was in like uh, rags, right? He was in rags. He had longer hair, falling down, shooting a bow at the lion. That really, really reminded me of Gladiator, but without all the, the Maximus outfit and all that kind of stuff. They might have showed too much right there because most of this I was thinking it was just a struggle for power the entire film. Now I get the sense that he loses that power at some point and he's fighting to get it back. Now this might be a very popular tale being told whether it's you know fictional or non-fiction, whatever it is. And so for most watching this, they already know the story and they're excited just to have it unfold. But for someone like me, I didn't need that last part. Given the lion's roar, don't show me him in a different kind of situation and very, very humbled there because that would have been cool to discover that for the first time in the movie. With that being said, uh, amazing cinema cinematography. I feel like the last five years especially, cinematography in, in films all across the world has really, really stepped up. And these cinematographers can do amazing things with their cameras and get amazing shots and mix it well with the CGI and with any kind of computer technology. Um, I like Akshay Kumar and kind of his like laid back, like cooler than cool, cool as butter or smooth as butter, I should say. And uh, he's just kind of sitting back doing his thing. I, I like that a lot. I'm not familiar with the lead actress in this one, so it'll be cool to see her in this movie. The thing is about historical, and it did say historical war, so I guess it is based on, on true stuff. But the thing about war films is I've seen so many of them. And I'm not necessarily a war film fan, but I've seen so many of them. And there's only so many different ways you can let that war play out, right? And some films like really focus on it. They spend 45 hour, minute, or hour of runtime of that film in war, and they can really capture it really well. But it's like you, you've seen so many of these tropes so many times, you got to bring something different. I did like the use of color. You had a lot of orange, you had, which reminded me kind of of a Kasari for whatever reason. You had a little bit of the green. I think that was Sanjay Dutt's character, or maybe it was the Mojave character. But you had a lot of, not just like a red, but like a rose red, and it was kind of like a stained rose red on white. It was really, really pretty. Whenever you see the girl, you see the dances and everything like that. Whenever you see him romancing, I like the use of color. I thought that was nice. Most of it had something to do with white or gray, so it was a nice little popping type situation. So they really put a lot of attention and detail into how this look, this film looks. Let's hope it's also a lot of detail into the plot, the story, the dialogue, all that kind of stuff. Those are my instant thoughts for this film's trailer. Very, very nice looking trailer. I'm not sure if I got enough from it that made it separate itself from other war films, but it definitely still did pique my interest. Let me know what you think. Comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, adios.